You don't go to work for money. You go to work for satisfaction. There's two rewards in life. One is material and the other is psychic. We shouldn't work for money. We should work for satisfaction. You provide service to earn money. Take some recording stars. My God, they earn millions on a recording. But look at the millions of people that are being entertained. Mm -hmm. Construction workers, air flight attendants, restaurants. There's the music playing, entertaining all the people that can hear that music. So they're entertaining all the people. And that's where it's coming, you see. You do what you, you work at what you love to do. And you'll get tremendous satisfaction. Like, I love what I'm doing. I would do it for nothing if I had to, but I, I just right. love it. I really love it. And so the fact that I love it, uh, why would I want to do anything else? And that's what I said to him. You get satisfaction from what you're doing, what you love to do. So every day when I get up, go to work, I'm doing what I love doing. You provide service to earn money. I have all kinds of stuff that we have, stuff that we sell, uh, programs that we're selling. Somebody buying them now, I don't know who they are or where they are, but I'm earning money right now while we're talking. And when I go to bed tonight, I'll be earning money and I'll earn it all night. And I like that idea, you know, um, because we're providing service. So I think we have to get the money straight in our mind, and I don't think most people have it straight. If you, um, and if, and if, if people don't, you, ahead, you were mentioning if a person didn't like to talk about it, they have a problem with it. So start talking about it more? Absolutely. Yeah. If there's somebody that, that you're around, uh, a partner, an associate or something, and they really don't want to talk about money, you, um, I think there's a problem there. Yeah. If someone came to you and has struggled with money their entire life, whether they're in their early 20s or they're in their 40s or 50s, and they asked you, Bob, what do I need to do to make my first million dollars? What would you say are the most important things they should think and act on next? Well, first of all, they've got to believe that they can earn the million dollars. they got to develop a belief system. Our belief system is based upon our evaluation of something. And frequently, if we reevaluate the situation, our belief about it will change. We've got to understand that money is easy to earn. I work with our sales staff all the time, um, helping them learn how to earn more money. I work with uh, members of our staff, different members of our staff, um, helping them develop the desire to earn more money, and then I show them how they can do it. And, uh, How do we believe if we've never seen evidence before or gotten results before mm -hmm. of earning it? Yeah, it's through the repetition of it, through the repetition of, of, of writing it and believing it. I had, a, I had an affirmation that I used for years, still use it. I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in um, in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I just keep repeating that like a mantra. And you write out, you know, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have in my possession a million dollars. And that's where you started out intellectually. Then you get emotionally involved. And if you keep doing that, ultimately you're going to attract the money. And you've got to ask, I'm curious, how for, can for money those be earned? Who... Money can be earned want to learn the millionaire morning routine. They want to master this. They want to learn what do those uh, millionaires and billionaires do with their morning routine. You've already shared a few things that you do. What would it look like if you had 90 minutes in the morning to set yourself up to reprogram your uh, money mindset? Well, I don't think it would take you 90 minutes. Um, you could spend, um, oh God, nine minutes. If you just write down, write it, write this down right now. I am so happy and grateful. I am so happy and grateful now that I have multiple sources of income. I am so happy and grateful now that I have multiple sources of income.
Do you know, if you write that out every day for the next 30, 60 days, you're going to become very, very aware of having multiple sources of income. Wealthy people all have multiple sources. They don't have one or two. They have a whole bunch of them. I don't know how many sources of income I've got. I'm not even interested in figuring it out because somebody else looks after that. I don't look after it. But I do know that you can do that. That's what Keith did it down in New Orleans. God, he just, his life changed so dramatically. And I'll show you different things you can do because anyone can. You want to set up multiple sources of income. You know, I was flying on a plane to um, KL. I used to fly from Toronto to KL once a month and back. It's 25 hours in the air one way. So wow. when I'm on the air, in the air, I either work with names, words, or numbers. And I wrote down one with six zeros. And I thought, what is the big deal about a million? You know, you often hear people say, what would you do if you had a million, if you won a million? And uh, I got thinking about it. And I played with that on the plane for quite a while. And it dawned on me, they do not have one source of income. They don't have a job. Now, some people have a job earns a million dollars, but that's, that's the unusual one. Mm -hmm. And then I got playing with it further and I broke it down. They'd have, they'd have more than one. And then I got it multiple sorry, and then the MSI. Well, then I got thinking we should run a seminar, teach people to earn a million dollars by setting up multiple sources of income. And when I got off the plane, I phoned Mark Victor Hansen down in Newport Beach. I, I was in KL. So I woke him up in the middle of the night and um, I got talking. He said, great idea. So we started the million dollar forum and he got involved in Bernie Dorman, who just passed away and Jack Canfield, and Lee Poulos. In fact, that's where the Chicken Soup for the Soul books came from, from that particular seminar. And we were teaching people to set up multiple sources of income. Well, they are in many millions from that, but that's where that started. And you uh, are in a beautiful position to set up all kinds of sources of income. So when you think of wealth, you know, you might only earn 10 or 15,000 from one source. You might earn uh, two or 300,000 from another, but you have a lot of them. Right. And that's where you'll earn wealth. Like I don't invest in the stock market. Um, my wife's have bought stocks, uh, Sandy buys stocks, I think. I just don't pay attention to it. It's not, it doesn't interest me. I'd rather, earn it by thinking, putting an idea to work and let the stock market do it for me. That's not, that doesn't excite me. Sure. Um, I'd rather sit here and think of, I, I sat here for another hour after we get off, I could think of a way of creating a source of income. What do you think are three skills everyone should learn in order to generate more wealth and generate more income for themselves, or just to improve the quality of their life in general. What are those three skills you wish everyone could master? Well, you've got to be, you've got to be fairly creative. You've got to have a free flow of energy. Energy has to flow through. You can't be stubborn. You can't lock in on, on something and not want to let go of it. Um, you've got to have a free flow. You've got to. Um, so flow of energy, free flow. In interested in new ideas. What's another? I skill think you have you to be service all? oriented. You really have to mm -hmm. be thinking of how to do things for people, how to help people. Because money is a reward received for service rendered. Yeah. It's hard to uh, it's hard to help others when you're always consumed with the negativity in your own life. Oh well, I mean that's mentality. <laughs> that's why poor people remain poor. <laughs> They're so locked into their problems. But if you um, listen. If a person is like that, let's suppose they're really locked in on problems, but they hear what I've just said. They really got to think of serving others. How can I serve others? How can I be of greater service? Um, you're going to figure it out. Discipline yourself for let's say 30, 60, 90 minutes a day, sitting down and thinking of writing down 10 ideas that could be of service to other people. 
And you probably won't get very good ones for the first little while, but if you keep doing it, they'll keep coming. You know? Absolutely. Or you'll try stuff in the beginning and you'll you'll learn something from those efforts and you'll realize how to make them better yeah. and you, you maybe maybe don't stick with them. When I started, I was like doing stuff, just hustling around, trying to figure it out. And you realize what doesn't work for you until you realize what does work. What's something else you recommend doing in the morning routine? I know you mentioned writing down this sentence every day. I am so happy and grateful that now I have multiple sources of income. What other things would you recommend for people to, to develop that millionaire mindset in the morning? Get books on, on money. Mm -hmm. um, you too can be prosperous is one. You, that was the one by Robert Russell. You too can be prosperous. Think and grow rich. Um, what else have I got there? The master key to riches. By Napoleon Hill. Get reading these books. Um, yeah. And get a partner to read them with. The partner doesn't have to be somebody you're living with. Could be someone on the other side of the country. You. Um, why? Why? Why is that important to have a partner reading with you? Uh, well, you usually will do it, and if you take, here's a great book, Power of Awareness. Now, when you look at this, it's got a red band across the bottom. The power of awareness, you'll find it without this red band, don't get that. This is the one. This has also included Awakened Imagination, Power of Awareness by Neville. This is a phenomenal book. This is going to expand the mind. Then get into Master Key on Riches. You too can be prosperous and think and grow.